What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and I am here today with the review for Married to Medicine. This is season eight, the reunion part one, you guys. So, before we get into the review, if you guys are watching the video, this video, or any other video on the channel, and you're not already subscribed to the channel, then do me a favor hit that subscribe button, you guys. Hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else and share this video. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review, shall we? I really hope you guys can see me. The funny thing is, in the last two videos, it's raining. This video, you notice, the sun is coming back out. So weird. So I really hope you guys can see me. Um, If not, in the editing process, we'll try to lighten it up somehow. Um... So the reunion, let's talk about the reunion looks. Ooh, some of the reunion looks are a miss for me and there are some that I do like. So the looks that I like the most, my number one favorite look is Heavenly. Heavenly looks amazing. I'm like, oh, look at Heavenly. Like Heavenly looks good. The hair on Heavenly, I love her hair. Then. The, you know, off the shoulder kind of. I love Heavenly's dress. Love Heavenly's dress. I love Quad. I love Quad's look as well. And then you know she got the uh, little, you know, the fishbone here. Love Quad's look. I'll even say I like um Toya's look. I like Toya's look. Um, Simone's look is the worst. Simone, Simone, Simone. And I actually know who who designed Simone's dress. Um, you know, uh, what is her name? Because she was on Richie Sky's video. She talked about doing Simone's dress. I, I love her. Um, Riley Knox. Love her, but Simone's dress is ugly as fuck. Gotta be real with you. Ugly as hell. Jackie just looks like Jackie. And that's not shade, but... But yeah, my favorite look... It's heavenly. Then it's followed by quad. Then we got to follow it up with Toya. So, you know, they open up the reunion. Andy asked them, you know, because they show a montage of them with the uh, face shields on and them trying to eat. So Andy asked them, you know, how, how challenging was it for them filming this season? And, you know, um, Jackie answered that question. And then, you know, they talk about the regular work as well. So we, you know, Contessa, she was doing telemedicine, which, you know, I've never, I've never, I've, you know, I've never really been, I've never done anything tele like that. I was, you know, I was told about it when one of my jobs, they was like, you know, you can just log into the app and talk to the doctor and they can write you, you know, you can tell them, you know, was, I'm like, really? I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't be into that. Like, I would rather go into the office. You, you know, you can do my, check my blood pressure, check my vitals, check all that stuff. But yeah, they talk about that. Um, you know, Heavenly says that her office was closed for forty days until they got the, you know the guidelines for how to um you know how to you know operate. So then we talk about Anila, right? So Anila has finally moved into her home, but she went over budget. Her budget was three million dollars. So Andy said, "Do you want to know what the you want to get hear the questions from the people?" She was like, "I guess." You know, sometimes when it comes to these questions, I'd be like, how much How much of this is Andy Cohen? Because we know Andy is sh shady as hell. So I'd be like, how much of this is Andy and how much of this is actual viewer question? Now, I know that when he gets ready to film reunions for every show that he does a reunion for, he does tweet out, you know, to give, you know, sending your questions so that way he can, uh, he and his team, you know, he'll say he and his team are getting ready to prepare for the Marriott and Madison reunion, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Potomac, New York, Beverly Hills. I wonder what they do a reunion for uh, the All Stars, and I wonder what they do. A, I wonder how this. I wonder how they're gonna. I wonder. <clears throat> I wonder how Real Housewives of Miami is gonna work, as well as the All Star Housewives, because you guys know that that's gonna be on. Both of those are gonna be on Peacock. I wonder how those reunion. I wonder how that's gonna work. I really wish they would bring Miami back to Bravo, and the All Stars. Um, but yeah. So people shade on Neela, right? About her house being, you know, over budget. And, you know, she, they would say, you know, they were saying, you know, when she was talking about paying people, you know, I'm building a house. 
She says, that was just a joke, which I, I imagine it was a joke, but <laughs> when it comes to these, when you, when you say stuff on TV, people are not going to let you live it down or forget it. So then Anila, then we move over to this whole thing about Anila, you know, talking about her not paying the hair and makeup. Well, Anila says that she did pay the hair and makeup. Toya says, you didn't pay him on time. She says, oh, yes, baby, I did pay him on time. So Toya says she has text messages from the hair doctor. And um, Anila says, well, I have receipts. Yeah, I'll take Anila's receipts over Toya's text messages. Now, here's the funny thing with Toya that I have an issue with. It's like, Toya, you talking about Anila's finances, but I'm sorry. Wasn't you and Eugene just in the hole with the IRS? Not too long ago. It's like, hello, pot. Meet cattle. Like, that was that was really my issue when it came to Toya this whole season, when it, especially with Anila. It's like, my, how you forget. You get out of your tax debt, but now you like, oh, now it's like, oh, I was never, you know, I'm, I'm good with money. I'm good with this. I'm good with that. But no, 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 no. You were in tax debt. To my knowledge, Anila has no Anila has no tax liens. Now, did Anila probably go above her budget? Absolutely. But at least she wasn't in tax debt. At least, you know, Uncle Sam wasn't coming after her. <coughs> so then Toya says that she thinks that the issue with she and Anila is petty. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. You're right, it is. It is petty, but it's petty because of you. You're the one that made this petty. Like Anila was saying, I think Anila's whole issue was, number one, you were going around in the community that you guys are going to live in and spreading this information that she doesn't pay her bills. That was number one. The second issue was the fact that this new group that she, of friends that she's make, trying to make in this cast, <coughs> you're going around telling them she can't pay anything. So... She was, I, I feel like she might have been worried that, you know, people are looking at her sideways because if your friend Toya, who introduced you to us, is now talking crap about you, like, what's the tea? But, you know, um, they asked Toya, <coughs> would she like to apologize to Anila? And she says yes. So she does apologize to Anila. She says, you know, I apologize for being so aggressive with you. <clears throat> and you know I think everybody knows including Andy knows that hey you know you two both want to salvage this friendship that you guys have with each other and I said yes so from this point forward it's, just, it's behind them which I'm good with that um <clears throat> and they get up and hug it out so yeah let's move on you guys All right, guys, so then Kwai, she joins the ladies. So when Kwai joined the ladies, we found out that Kwai has her own home, and they showed a picture of her pool. Love her pool. So then asked, so Andy asked Toya, you know, what do you think about her home? She says, I don't. She says, yes, she's learned not to think about it. I was like, oh, God, Kwai, here we go. So then we discussed the whole conversation, you know, that Toya had on live, right? Shout out to the subscriber. I actually know which one of my subscribers told me about this. Told me about this one a few weeks ago. I just can never pronounce her name on YouTube. Um, but yeah. So the thing with Toya and Quad was, you guys remember, Toya, like I said, I saw this. I saw this when it happened. I didn't say when it happened. I saw it on one of the, I think it was like the Peach Report Daily. They posted it. So I did see it when it happened. So you know, some um, she was on live with Cecil and Simone, right? And she was talking about, you know, um, heavily over, you know, heavily and quiet, they be over in that bullshit ass apartment talking that bullshit, right? So, Toya went deeper in this episode, in this reunion about what happened, and I was actually surprised that they kept it in there, that they didn't cut it out. So, the thing is, Toya said that Quad told her that she was renting that, you know, that townhouse. I think she said five thousand a month. Oh God, that's a lot of freaking money. But you know what? The cost of living out there in Atlanta is a little bit high. Cause you guys know that I'm trying to go to grad school out there, and I'm trying to find an apartment out there. 
And I'm like, damn, y'all apartments cost more than what ours do here in Texas, especially in Dallas. Because <coughs> the one, because I looked at a one bedroom apartment in Atlanta. That one bedroom apartment in Atlanta costs more than what my two bedroom apartment in Dallas cost. I was like, oh, good God. So the thing was, Toya said, you know, we talked about it. I even told her about some house. You know, we there was some house. We were talking about some houses in my neighborhood, and I even gave her my realtor. And you know, Qual was like, "She's right. She, yep, she's right. She did do that." So then Toya also says that, and also, you know, um, we talked about the live the night that it happened. So for for Quad to go up there with Heavenly, and act like she had never heard it or never or we never even discussed it, it was basically bullshit. Which it really is. Like, I didn't, you know, didn't know that. So then Heavenly opens up her big ass mouth talking about that Quad is dating someone. And Quad says, I'm dating, you know, I'm dating quite a few people. And one of them is a doctor. I'm like, okay, Quad, get it. <coughs> get it, Quad. Date around. Have fun. I'm here for it. <coughs> so then we move over to Toya, you guys. Now, honestly, when it came to Toya and this in the reunion, I felt bad for Toya <clears throat> because you guys know that throughout the whole entire season, I've said that something was going on with Toya. I knew something was up with Toya. I could never put my finger on it, but I knew that there was something up with Toya. So as Toya starts to cry and Andy says, are you embarrassed? She says a little bit. And she says, you know, she didn't communicate well this season, which you 100% didn't communicate this well this, se- this well that well this season. And one of the issues was Every time that you got around the girls, you would get so drunk and then you would go off on them. So, no, you did not communicate that well this season. So then she talks about the fact that, you know, and I figured it out. I figured, I don't know when I figured it out, but I think I put two and two together eventually. I'm like, there's a lot going on with Toya. Number one, we're in the middle of COVID. Number two. I wouldn't even say, you know, she didn't want her kids at home, but her kids were at home. Eugene was in the ER, and I think that was where the big issue came in, the fact that Eugene was working in the ER. I was like, oh, <clears throat> that's it. I think that was the issue with Toya, the fact that her husband was putting his life on the line day in and day out, and especially in the beginning of COVID when we didn't know anything, we didn't know nothing about COVID, and she would say he would come home, he would be asleep. He would cough in his sleep. She would get afraid. So that's what it is with Toya. And I guess Toya couldn't vocalize the fact that she wanted her friends to just, you know, check on her, see if she's okay. Now, I was not here for Heavenly Chiming in and Contessa. Because Contessa, like, you got some shit going on in your life too, don't you? You got shit going on in your life. You got shit going on in your life. Don't you got shit going on in your life, Andy? And it was like, my life is good. <laughs> But I wasn't here for Heavenly. Because Heavenly was like, you don't even ask us how we doing. Now, Toya, when you said, I don't care. I was like, you just gave Heavenly what she wanted. You gave Heavenly what she was at, what she was saying. And I don't think she meant in the, in the, se- in the sense that she doesn't care. Because, you know, Toya then said, I've asked you, how was this person? How was that person? How was da-da-da-da-da? So, I think she just, I think in the... In the heat of the moment, she got heated, and she just said that. But I think that's really what it was. Toya just wanted them to just say, hey, Toya, because she did say it. My husband is the only one that works in the ER. And I think that's just really what it was. She was just dealing with that. So then Andy asked her about the house. Why did they put their house on the market? Which I still don't, That her answer didn't make any sense to me. Like, this is supposed to be your dream house, but you're putting it on the market. Toya, now your answer. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses is what you need to stop doing. Because she's talking about the fact <coughs> that the other people in her neighborhood, when they sold their houses, they're sold for over a million dollars. You got to stop keeping up with what other people are doing. That's number one. Don't keep up with what other people are doing. Stay in your house. <clears throat> now I get it. 
home is where the family is. <clears throat> so wherever you and your family are, that's y'all's house. But girl, this ain't it. This is not it. All right, you guys. So we're going to move on and we're going to wrap the episode up. I'm actually wrapping it up because there's an ambulance coming my way and I can hear it. But let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. So we're going to also wrap this episode, these reviews up because there's a guy that just pulled up behind my car and I'm looking at him in my rearview mirror and he's looking directly at me, which is really creepy. But um, yeah, so let's wrap the episode. Let's wrap up the reunion and then we're going to move over to the shot. So we see the man, they show up to the reunion, right? So then we see Andy, he's talking to the ladies. More specifically, he's talking to Contessa, right? So Andy asks Contessa, does she think that she, you know, that Scott is cheating on, on her? And she says, at this point right now, I don't think that Scott is cheating on me. But she does feel like Scott has maybe some inappropriate, some conversations, some relationships, some friendships that she may deem inappropriate. <clears throat> If that's the case, why don't you just tell like what Simone said, especially when it came to Cecil. Y'all know Cecil cut out that, that his his good friend that he had because Simone didn't like it. And you guys remember I had a whole I, I talked about I talked about that when it happened. Um <clears throat> So they do talk about how the fact that, you know, with contestants got like I've been saying in my reviews, it's so confusing with those two. Because this whole season, things have not been good with Scott and Contessa, right? But then when they started, when they stopped filming, they went on vacation with each other. Now, Contessa's answer to that didn't make any sense to me because they have kids. Okay, what does that mean? <coughs> so then Andy asked Contessa, has the deal work came up? So Contessa says, well, you know, the ladies can, you know, the ladies, I feel like we've all, we're all really good friends with each other. And I feel that they can answer that question for you. So, um, Quad speaks up and says, that's Contessa filed for separation. And Scott, who's backstage watching this, Scott felt blindsided by it. So I guess Scott didn't know nothing about this. Ultimately, I feel like Contessa has to do what is best for Contessa and her kids. That's me being real. <clears throat> but that's the review, you guys. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask or not. Socially distance. Stay blessed. And I'll catch you guys later for the shy. Oh, now he's leaving. Let's. Um, I'll see you guys later for the shy.